Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of CI Stories. So uh, today we, uh, or yesterday, we actually arrived in the area of the Aurora Wind Field and there I met some colleagues because actually Polarstern uh, is already working in the area. They had also tried to get further north and didn't get further north. So uh, we met them, we are in the, working in a close vicinity and yesterday evening uh, they came over for a visit uh, the captain and the chief scientist and a few other uh, scientists and helicopter people. So that was a very cool uh, visit. They had a nice chat on the bridge. They got some coffee here and uh, there was an exchange of presents. And then of course we showed them also our vessel and uh, the ROV and we decided that we're going to work alongside each other uh, for the next few days. So it's actually very interesting because uh, yeah, when I look outside of the window, I can I can see Polarstern uh, pretty close to us, working pretty close to us. So they had a nice successful dive with the Neerite Underice uh, hybrid vehicle last night after the helicopter visit, and then we followed this morning with a very successful dive of Agir 6000, our ROV, to the uh, hydrothermal vents that are at the Aurora vent site. Uh, we easily found the sites. The venting sites, uh, we were lucky with the drift. After we first, we had to relocate uh, to make sure we would hit the, the vent, but then we uh, luckily hit the vent and it was a very, very successful dive. And now the ROV is up on deck again uh, with the collected samples. So there's a lot of rock samples and samples uh, from the chimney material, etc. So uh, right now the ROV is being prepared for being lowered again for a second dive at the Aurora vent field. We have just talked about uh, which drift direction we need to make for uh, for getting again to the vent field. And so the ROV is uh, soon on its way down for a second dive and then they hope to also survey some areas south of the known vent fields because Polarstern then in the past few days found actually signs of venting there. We don't know if it's actually there, but uh, we're going to have a look with the ROV. And then uh, in the coming days, we will also help and try to recover a, a v, uh, not a vehicle, uh, an ocean bottom seismometer that they could not recover and we will try to see if we can locate that and help get the data and the equipment and then we will see how we continue in the coming days together but finally it's getting exciting and uh, there's a lot of work to do maybe also with an ice station tomorrow let's see with that i thank you a lot for watching and have a nice day Thank <laughs> you.